okay so many times uh, you will encounter a scenario in which you know a uh, chain is there okay so when it is a chain how you will take care of that particular scenario it's it's a special case uh, how to deal with uh, a problem in which the chains are there okay what is chain a chain we are considering a chain which has distributed mass along the length okay mass is distributed fine so let's assume that you have this chain the mass can be uniformly distributed or non uniformly distributed it depends on the scenario so let's say this chain has mass m and it has a length of l okay so suppose this is the ground for which you are saying that gravitation potential energy is zero okay acha by the way the work energy theorem that we have derived is not only valid for the uh, for the small masses it is valid for the bigger masses also fine like in the case of chain it is valid here as well but the problem which you will be facing here is to write potential energy and kinetic energy for the chain okay because this entire chain is not located at a particular location at at a particular point right so since it is not located at a particular point when you write mgh as potential energy you will not be sure what h to take whether to take h from here there or there we are not sure about it right so that is the reason why we are we have taken the special case of chain here okay so uh, my question here is find out the total gravitation potential energy of the chain ug is what you need to derive it okay no bharat we don't know what is center of mass yes you can assume the chain is just touching the ground the hint is take a small mass let's take this mass is dm and this is dy this dy is at a height of y okay so yes mgh at no but what m mass of what total chain no so potential energy of dm is what see dm is a point mass it's a very very small mass it has a fixed location so you can write down the potential energy of dm as du which is equal to dm g into y getting it now the total potential energy will be nothing but the integral of this now the problem with integral of y dm or dm y is that both uh, m and y both are the variables okay so you need to write one in terms of others then only you can integrate right so the width of this dm is dy so total length l has a mass of m so dy will have what mass m by l which is mass per unit length into dy okay so this is equal to dm so just substitute it here you'll get g times m by l y dy now uh, you can integrate u and uh, mg l integral of y dy will come and this you can integrate from 0 to l that's how the y coordinate is changing so what you will get here is that mg l by 2 this is what you will get as potential energy okay so in case
you have uniformly charged sorry not charged uniformly distributed mass in the chain okay then all you have to do is to find out where the center of the chain is okay where the center of the chain is and find out what is the height of the center of the chain okay and once you find out the location of the center of the chain you just multiply that with m into g so m into g into height of the center will give you the potential energy of the chain fine so we will learn uh, the distributed mass in greater detail when we talk about the rigid body motion later on but right now you can use it as a thumb rule if the chain is uniformly distributed mass then the potential energy is just mg into h center of mass getting it any doubts any doubt to write the potential energy of the chain friendly message all you have to do is to find out where the center of the chain is then entire chain will behave as if it is a point mass located at where the center of the chain is located so here we have also integration part so this is how we have integrated uh, we have got dmg dy okay we cannot integrate it right now because it has two variables fine so we first write dm in terms of dy so that there is only one variable y and then i can integrate changing y from 0 to l okay so i'll get mg l by 2 fine so you can also write this as mg into l by 2 and what is l by 2 l by 2 is the height of the center of the chain fine so the thumb rule is thumb rule is write down if chain is straight then mg into height of center of the chain will give you the potential energy of the chain fine you are assuming it to be straight okay any doubts yes or no please message they go for length l total mass is m okay so for length dy what is the mass mass per unit length into dy okay that's how you have to apply getting it all right so let us take up a small numerical on the chain itself and see how we can apply what we have done till now is that we have defined the potential energy of the chain okay and that too for a special case where the chain is straight and if chain is not straight then we have to follow the integration procedure to find the total uh, potential energy of the chain okay for example if chain is placed on a hemisphere if chain is placed on a hemisphere like this okay then you cannot just find out the center of the chain and just you know write potential energy accordingly what you have to do now is you first you have to assume some zero potential energy then take a small uh, length of the chain find out its potential energy and then integrate it throughout the length okay so that you will learn when you take up questions like these okay so let's not uh, learn it as a theory so once you try out these questions message me then i can help you with this okay meanwhile let us take a question
suppose you have a table like this on the table you have a chain placed with l by 4 length hanging this is l by 4 total length of the chain is l fine mass of the chain is m only okay this is a smooth table it's a smooth fine now what will happen the chain will, will slowly slide down okay you need to find the velocity of the chain when the chain completely come out of the table find out velocity of the chain when it comes out completely so see with respect to kinetic energy the chain is a straightforward case because the entire chain, chain, if it is sliding, will be moving with the same velocity. So you can directly write down half m into v squared to be kinetic energy of the chain, where v is the velocity of the entire chain. So with respect to kinetic energy, there is no ambiguity. I have seen it, others, let us assume this to be zero potential energy, this is zero gravitation potential energy over here, okay. So if you break the chain into two parts, fine, 3L by 4 part has no potential energy, U is zero for 3L by 4 and for L by 4 potential energy is what initially minus of M by 4 which is the mass of the hanging part G into center of the hanging part L by 8. Fine. So initial potential energy will be equal to the potential energy of this part which is lying on the table which is 0 plus potential energy of the hanging part. Hanging part's mass is m by 4 okay? and its center is lying below a distance of l by 8 from the level where you have assumed to be 0 potential energy. Okay? So u1 will be equal to m g l by 32 this is u1 okay k1 is what initial kinetic energy is 0 okay u2 is what u2 is when the entire chain comes down of the table that is minus of m g l by 2 if entire chain comes down the table then the center of mass will move down to a distance of l by 2 fine and k2 you can assume it to be half m into p square all right and w is anyway zero there is no other force other than gravity which is doing work for which you have considered the potential energy so you can say zero is equal to u2 plus k2 that is minus mgl by 2 plus half m into v square then minus u1 plus k1 mgl by 32 okay you just solve this equation you'll get the velocity okay so like this there will be uh, you know i can understand there is a discomfort in taking up the problem related to chain 
so this you can only master when you uh, you know uh, try to uh, look for the questions which involves the chain are getting it uh, so if you have any books just look at uh, the questions that have that involves the uh, chain in it okay don't just count the number of questions every day number of questions what you have solved you should also be on a lookout of some of the unique type of questions fine so uh, try to uh, get hold of at least five or six questions related to chain and solve it yourself okay and in case you have any doubts feel free to get in touch okay so we'll take a small break now we'll take uh, a couple of minutes break right now it is 11 right now it is 11 oh 11:50 we will meet at 12 okay is it fine okay so guys let, let me tell you uh, we have done enough uh, so that you can crack any question from this particular chapter now whatever we are learning are different different scenarios like if if chain is there what will do if this is there what we will do right so but when with with respect to the uh, the concept okay we have learned everything 